Opening, hi YouTube. This is going to be a very special week as England prepares to crown its new monarch, King Charles III, and his consort, Queen Camilla, in the coronation ceremony at Westminster Abbey. The event will have the pageantry that we have come to expect from the monarchy, with a diamond jubilee state carriage for the newly crowned couple's arrival and departure, special emojis and a smaller scale procession than the one thrown for Queen Elizabeth II's 1953 coronation. Let's take a look at the plans for the big day. Body, on the morning of the 6th of May, King Charles III and Queen Camilla will leave Buckingham Palace in the Diamond Jubilee State Coach, built in 2012 to celebrate the late Queen Elizabeth's 60th anniversary on the throne. The coach is topped with a gilded crown card from Oak from HMS Victory, Nelson's flagship at the Battle of Trafalgar, and the interior of the coach is inlaid with special materials from important buildings and vessels from the UK's history. The 1.3-mile procession route provided some of the most iconic sights in England, from the Mall to Admiralty Arch, Whitehall and beyond. The processional route is notably shorter than that taken by Queen Elizabeth II for her own coronation, which took a longer 1.6-mile journey for the outward route, and 5 miles for the return journey. The procession will finish at Westminster Abbey, where the coronation service will begin at 11 a.m. After the crowning ceremony is complete, the newly crowned King and Queen, Charles III and Camilla, will depart Westminster Abbey in the Gold State Coach, a 260-year-old vehicle which has been used in every coronation since William IV's in 1831. The return journey is said to be more grand than the outward journey, as members of the UK, Commonwealth and British Overseas Territories forces will serve as a guard of honour, marching and lining the route alongside the Sovereign's bodyguard and royal watermen. Once they have returned to Buckingham Palace from the parade, the King and Queen will take the salute from the West Terrace of the Buckingham Palace Garden, after which three cheers will be given from the assembled service personnel for the new monarchs. Conclusion so that's it for our look at the plans for the coronation procession of King Charles III and Queen Camilla. As always, there will plenty of pageantry, with a special diamond jubilee state coach for the arrival and departure, and plush interior, plus a shorter processional route than that used for Queen Elizabeth II. The coronation is set to take place on the 6th of May, and promises to be a wonderful event, with the new King and Queen cheered by armed forces of the UK, Commonwealth and British Overseas Territories. Don't forget to look out for the emojis too. Thanks for watching and have a great day.